Okay. Okay, I am ready to fly with the motion controller. It has a little box there that indicates, I guess, center. Okay, so it's centered now. And then I'm going to press this, double click the red button there to, uh, to start up the motors. And then, long press to take off. Oh, okay. And then I steer. Just sort of just follows where the controller is pointed. It seems to be pretty accurate. Then, if I want to stop, I can just press that. Then I press to the unpause. It's very intuitive. I really like, I actually really like how this feels. It takes a little bit of getting used to and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm used to flying with sticks, but this, this isn't bad. Not bad at all. Just cruising around here. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna switch it into sport mode. Okay, comes to a stop. I, I like that it comes to a stop, but you should just release the trigger and it'll just stop. That's nice. Okay, and... Okay, sport mode. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, this is insane. <laughs> like it like I feel like I'm in control, but it's still weird using this motion controller going at higher speeds. I'm in sport mode here, it's just... Okay, about half throttle here. I'm... The full throttle with this uh, motion controller is a little bit freaky. Okay. Got it around again. It's getting to feel pretty natural, actually, really. I mean, this is not bad at all. <laughs> Peacocks don't like it, though. Okay. Let's go flat out and see how fast it'll stop with the brake. Wow! Okay. That does stop it, stop it in its tracks. Come try, okay, try filming the drone out that way. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> that is pretty dramatic, I've got to say. Oh, crud, I haven't been recording. Oh, have I? When? I don't know how long I've been recording out here for. <laughs> On the drone. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I've recorded myself flying it. I'm not sure I've recorded much of the drone flying, but uh, we'll take it out for another spin though, because I don't know how much footage I've got. I've got, actually got. So, unpause it. 
turn around and let's go. Oh, okay. There we go. Round again, and I'm gonna stop it after this because I really flubbed up there by not recording with the drone. <laughs> okay, and stop. <laughs> we'll switch modes now, and then just bring it in slowly. Oh. Guess I should bring the gimbal pitch down so I can... Okay, hmm. <laughs> um... I might have to take the goggles off, I think, to land it. Follow me around. Okay. <laughs> now I guess it's just long hold down on the button. No, no, no. You want to land right here. Land on my hand. Okay, come on. And I'll just reach out. <laughs> that was my first hand landing with this thing, I think. <laughs> no, I think I did it when I was up in the mountains too, but... Anyway, that's it with the motion control. We'll see how much of that footage uh, I got with the drone there, because I think I actually accidentally jogged uh, the record button on the side while I was filming. So, it may not have... the drone may not have captured all that footage, but at least I have pictures of me... video of me flying it, so at least that's good. Let me just see here. Yep, still filming. I've got four minutes on there. Stop. <laughs> okay. I think we're done. Ah! Baby goat. <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> okay, well I hope this video, hope you enjoyed this video. It was, I think it ended up being a little more haphazard than I initially planned. But, it was fun. This, this thing is actually really cool. I'm surprised. I, by the end of when I was filming with it, I actually felt just about as confident with this as I did with the regular controller, which I did not expect. I, did, I was a little bit worried that this would be a bit gimmicky, but it's not. This is genuinely a very useful device for flying with this drone. It's very intuitive. I mean, if, if you're coming to this drone as a, somebody who's not flown a drone before, uh, I think this would actually be easier to pick up and use than the, actu the traditional remote controller, so that's really cool. It is worth mentioning that it doesn't work with manual mode with acro mode, so uh, just keep that in mind, it only works with normal and sport mode. But uh, I think there's some limitations to this design that would make it not work with acro mode. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, next we're going to be flying through some dense trees, so I really hope I don't crash. Uh, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!